Peter Pan. Once upon a time in London, there lived three children. Wendy, John, and Michael were their names. One night, Wendy woke up and saw a strange boy sitting on the floor. He looked cross. My name is Wendy, she said, and asked the boy, Who are you, and why do you look so cross? The boy replied, I'm Peter Pan. I'm cross because my shadow won't stick to me. Oh, I can fix that, Wendy said and sewed Peter's shadow to the tips of his shoes. Peter was now happy. Will you please fly back to Neverland with me and my fairy, Tinkerbell? Peter asked Wendy, you could be our mother and take care of us. Will you teach me how to fly? Wendy asked and Peter nodded. I'll wake John and Michael up. If you teach all of us to fly, we can go to Neverland, Wendy said. It wasn't long before all three children were flying around in the bedroom. Suddenly, with a whoosh, they all flew out of the window and followed the golden arrows that pointed the way to the beautiful land of Neverland. Soon, all of them were flying over the island. Peter told them that the lost boys live with Tinkerbell and him. The mermaids live over there in the lagoon and there are pirates too. Their boss is Captain Hook, Peter said. Pirates? asked Wendy, a bit frightened. But Michael and John wished to see the pirates right away. Peter said to them, Hook's the meanest pirate ever, but he's frightened of the crocodiles. Peter told them that a crocodile had bitten Hook's hand off years ago. The crocodile liked the taste so much that it followed him, hoping for more. But the crocodile had swallowed his clock in the tick, talk, tick, Talk sound warned Hook when the crocodile is nearby. Oh, I'm not sure I want to stay in Neverland after all, Wendy said. Peter then took Wendy, John, and Michael to his house in the woods, through a secret door. Will you be our mother? The lost boys shouted when they saw Wendy. But I'm only a little girl, replied Wendy. Oh, all right, I'll do my best, Wendy said as the lost boys were sad. And so, Wendy tucked the boys into bed that night and told them a story. One day, Peter and the children went exploring around the mermaid's lagoon. All of a sudden, Peter yelled, Pirates! Hide everyone! The boys ran away, while Wendy and Peter hid. Peter saw that the pirates had tied up Tiger Lily, the Indian princess, to a rock. Peter must save her! He shouted in Captain Hook's voice, set the princess free. Captain, you told us to bring her here. One of the pirates yelled. Let her go. Peter roared in Captain's voice again. Aye, aye, Captain, the pirate said and set the princess free. When Captain Hook found out about this, he knew that Peter had tricked the pirates and was very angry. That night, Wendy told the lost boys a story about three children who left their parents and flew to Neverland. She told them that their mother and father missed them very much. Did they ever go back to them? Asked one of the lost boys. Yes, replied Wendy. They flew home to their mother and father, and everyone was happy like before. This made Wendy, John, and Michael feel homesick, and they decided to fly back home the following morning. If you come back with us, I'm sure our parents would look after you. Wendy told the lost boys, Yay! Hooray! shouted the lost boys in excitement. But Peter and Tinkerbell didn't want to live where grown-ups told children what to do. So, Peter was sad that his friends will leave soon. He asked Tinkerbell to guide all of them to home. Early the next morning, Tinkerbell and the children left Peter's house. Captain Hook's pirates were hiding nearby to capture all the children. They caught them, tied them up, and took them to the pirate's ship. Tinkerbell escaped and flew back to tell Peter what had happened. Who wants to be a pirate? Asked Captain Hook and the boys shook their heads. Make them walk on the planks, shouted Captain Hook. The boys were afraid, but tried to act brave. Suddenly, all of them heard the tick, talk of the crocodile, and now Captain Hook was afraid but it was Peter pretending to be a crocodile by producing a similar sound to the crocodile's tick, talk. Peter flew onto the ship and shouted, I've got you now, Hook. 
Captain Hook jumped up and swung at Peter with his sword, but he missed and it fell right into the sea. Unfortunately, the crocodile was waiting for him in the water, and that was the end of Captain Hook. Peter and Tinkerbell set off for London with Wendy, John, Michael, all the boys. Wendy's mother and father were very happy to see their children again and hugged them. They also said that they would look after all the lost boys. I'm going to stay in Neverland, where I never have to grow up, Peter said. Goodbye, Peter. We'll miss you. Everyone bid him goodbye. So, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell flew back home to Neverland. Moral, in the story, Captain Hook kidnapped the children to turn them into pirates. But he ends up being a treat for the crocodile. Therefore... We must not think evil of someone. Evil doings result in evil consequences.